Hello everybody, the captain here, and we got a request from a par across the pond again over in the good old UK. Young man writes, wants to remain anonymous, and he, he's written several uh, emails, so we'll, we'll kind of put them all together here. And this is for uh, those of you who are accounting majors, or studying accounting, you want to what sub-segment of accounting to go into, I guess only in the UK, because that's what I, I looked and really searched into. Uh, I want to do accounting, I'm good at it, I tend to apply for a firm, big four, and get a higher apprenticeship instead of university. Question. Which do I pick? Tax, audit, consulting, corporate finance. Which one pays the most? How much will this cost? I don't know how much it's going to cost because I don't know what your tuition fees over in the United Kingdom or what school you're going to go to. Um, and it does seem, like, as I asked the previous question, about you, like, well, wait, you just go an internship, but I guess there's a different... It means something different in the United Kingdom. This is okay. Regardless, if you want to get into the big four, go to the big four and ask the recruiters exactly what they want. You can even ask them specifically out of the uh, four general areas that you listed uh, for me, uh, which one they're looking to hire in the most. And then you also said, why well, wouldn't mind going with one of the big eight to 10? Is that a mistake? Well, here's the thing with the big four. <clears throat> this is what I've heard from everybody, both the United States and the United Kingdom. It's reputation, and they totally fucking take advantage of it. I wouldn't say they take advantage of their employees, but it's like, if you want to go work for a Fortune 500 company, you just have to work for a big four. When you get to the big four, it's no more challenging, no more interesting, actually a little more boring than it were to be working for a regional or one of the 8 to 10 um, accounting firms. And, and they do kind of just like give you boring crap work. So you're going to think, ooh, yay, big four. And it's like, oh, shit, what the fuck is this? But you have big four <laughs> on your CV, or as we call it here, your resume. Uh, so while people are jerking off because you have big four on your resume, I mean, it depends really what kind of life you want. I mean, I'm not saying you can't have a fun life with the big four, but they work you hard, man. They really do. Now, um, I did some research with the email I sent you, uh, the link to that uh, Robert Half um, salary survey we did, and you want to know about audit, tax, consulting, and corporate finance. Now, um, it's the same here more or less as it is over there. Uh, there may be some temporal changes in the demands of the market, but in general, audit and tax are your highest paying ones because they're the most fucking boring. Um, my girlfriend used to work in an accounting uh, firm not a big four, but a, a regional one, a sizable one. And she'd invite me to the Christmas party. or the No, they didn't have a Christmas party. They had an after-tax party. When taxes were done, April the 15th at, at, at night, these people would go out and party. And my God, did the tax and audit people get hammered. They got fucking lit, man. They were gone. And these are like nerdy. They weren't like getting in fights, but holy cow, I've never seen anybody drink that much. And the reason why is their jobs suck. Their jobs fucking suck. It is boring ass fucking shit. I um, I shit. I did my own taxes for the longest time, until I started running into complications with having a rental property and having a, an LLC and all this other stuff. And and you know what? It, it is a different ball of wax. So is there. Now, <clears throat> the other two, consulting and corporate finance. You're not going to get into that. Um, they pay more in the long run because they're basically sales jobs. Consulting is nothing but ass-kissing and brown-nosing. That's why I have asshole consulting, so I don't have to ass-kiss or brown-nose. I just tell you how it fucking is. And the more sli slimy and sleazy you are, the better consulting you'll be. Now, to get into consulting, you have to go and work as tax or audit so you get intricately familiar with thousands of different types of um, companies. You specialize in an industry, and then you go consult that particular industry. So you're not going to become a consultant until you're at least 40, if you're lucky, all right? And by that time, the soul's been kicked out of you. You have no, I mean, any intelligence you have, creativity is just fucking gone. But yeah, you're going to make a lot of money in consulting, just not fresh out of college. They're not going to hire you as a consultant. You're fucking, well, you're what, 18? You're fuck, you don't know shit. They're not going to hire you. Now, the same thing with corporate finance. Corporate finance is considered the fun part of running a business. Where it's like, we're corporate finance. We're going to do M&A, da, 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 da. Your investment bankers, they take the 7% cut. Um... And again, there it's you're going to need experience in, in tax and audit or just regular accounting, you know, uh, doing the, the books or receivables, payables, that kind of stuff. And then you work your way up. And then when you're a nice peppered gray haired guy who looks like Tom Selleck, then maybe you can go work in corporate finance and make a fucking ton of money. But <clears throat> what it boils down to is simply this. The high paying jobs, you're not going to get fresh out of college because they go to people with work experience and the degree. You need to get the degree, that's your first step. 
You're going to likely go into audit or tax or some other place they need you. It's going to suck for 10 years, and then it's going to suck slightly less after you get promoted to being a consultant or a finance manager or something like that. Um, so be really, you know, really, under, I mean, I'll tell you this. My girlfriend went from big time um, tax. She was in tax. And you're like, fuck this. I'm done. And she's just happier, happier being the, the company accountant where it's like, and then they ship all that shit out to, to do the taxes. They ship that out to a, to a CPA or a certified accountant, uh, whatever the equivalent is in Britain. So just kind of be prepared for what you're getting into. I'd go talk to some accountants who work in audit and tax or you know other uh, subfields of accounting. But yeah, man, it's that. And I know they say, oh, you could become a consultant. You could become an accountant. And they may even call you a consultant, like Accenture. They used to be called Anderson Consulting. We had buddies. Or I had buddies who were like you know, 23, 24, and they were consultants. They were fucking lackeys and lap dogs for the fucking real consultants. They're like, yeah, do this. You're a consultant. It was like data entry. Fucking bullshit. You were consulting nothing. You're just a fucking data entries man. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's what I do. But just to answer your question very directly, tax and audit, because they suck. Just go to account and say, what sucks and what do you pay most for? And that's where I sent you that salary guide so you get a more numerical idea. But that corporate consulting and the corporate finance and that kind of thing and the wheeling and dealing, that doesn't come until you got nice peppered gray hair in your beard and you've sucked enough penis and you bent over your ass for enough cock to be shoved up it, then you could become a consultant. And I, you know, just as a guy who's, who's been down the finance road before and talked to, doesn't seem like it's worth it. But that's for you to figure out in your own life. Hopefully it did provide you a little bit of guidance and a little bit of numerical empirical data there to help make your decision. Toodles.